Hey, all right, what's up, friends? I'll show you a project I'm working on. Got an Align Trex 450. Went ahead and added a scale fuselage. Just put the lights on it. I'll be putting a four bladed head on it. Just waiting on it in the mail right now. That's what those blades are there for. There's the 500 Trex. It's got the fly bar set up. Then from there I wanted to build my own. I actually bought this one from a friend. I wanted to try to build my own so I started with a 450. I'll show you what the lights are. turning out cool. show you guys what I did to install this fuselage actually turned out really neat I know a lot of guys screw them in and it makes it real tough to get the, the airframe out of the fuselage when you got to go in there and add your bolts and screws then it's basically just you never could take it apart which I didn't care for that whole idea I want to be able to get in there and work on it and stuff. Go ahead and move some of this stuff off. So I'll show you guys what I went ahead and did. Here's my battery. So when you get the fuselage, I got this off of eBay. It's only like 30 bucks for the fuselage. But like I said, when you get them, you're supposed to screw the heli frame in there with bolts and all that, and it's just pain in the butt. So what I went ahead and did was I made a place for this to seat down in there. Once I epoxied all my wooden frame in there and stuff, made it to where this will seat down in there and lock in place, and then I went ahead and zip tied it. You see a zip tie there, one there. I actually used four of them, but I just didn't install the other ones. I just wanted to show you how I'm doing this. So this way, if you ever got problems with your heli, you gotta go through all them unscrewing nuts and bolts which you can barely get to in there anyway pain in the butt here I made my antenna stick out the side as you can see I just undid the two zip ties there and that way this pops right up out I got my lights hooked on here. I'll unplug those. That way I can just pull my airframe right out. That way if I gotta work on it, put new gears or anything. So you can see here how there's I built it up to where this just sits right down in there. Pops in place. And all I did was use popsicle sticks to build it up around. First I built the main wooden frame, epoxied all that in. Then I went ahead and set this in there and then glued popsicle sticks all around all around it down onto the wood here. I even went ahead and cut these two popsicle sticks to go around the motor area. 
like I said, it really sets in there and locks in place. And then all I do is I use zip ties through these areas. Like these here, slide them right through, loop them around, and zip tie it right down onto the main wooden frame. It's just a good idea, you guys, if you guys are going to install install these in scale fuselages. As you can see it slid in and now it'll pop down in there. Boom. Here I got all my lights hooked up. Still gonna shorten these two wires. Like I shortened all the wires for all the LEDs. Made them to the length that they needed to be so I didn't have a bunch of wire floating around in my fuselage. Also you guys for the paint job, it already comes in that olive drab color, which is the green. But for like the tail and the landing skids, they were all white. I didn't really care for the white. So I went ahead and used a tester's flat black. Just blacked all that out, landing gear. Also blacked out the, the window just so you won't see the big battery up here in the nose. Gives it a more scale look. I also blacked out all the inside of the heli. So when you're looking at it from a little distance, it looks like actual pilot compartment and stuff. You don't see all the goodies in there. So yeah, if you guys are gonna put your Helly's in a scale fuselage, you just want to be able to remove them kind of easy so you can work on them. Alright, just wanted to give you guys a quick video on it. I'll get back to you when I get her up and flying. Over now.